Yes, everyone, welcome to Adam Matic's TV. It's Champions League night, and tonight I'm in, I'm at home, not at the game. No ticket again, shafted by United, but you know what? I can look at it from a different view tonight. And instead of being there at the ground, I can see from where all you lot are watching it from and see if it's as bad or as good uh, in some different opinions as you guys have said. So, yeah, interesting to see what happens tonight. He's gone with exactly the same formation as he did at Spurs. Two personnel changes as expected. Pogba, the only game he can play uh, through his suspension up until the next international break. So he comes in. Uh, looks like he's resting Fred for the derby <laughs> straight away. But even if Pogba was fit, I think he would have dropped him for the derby anyway. Again, <laughs> that's just Ollie and the way he's working. Nothing's changed my mind regarding how uh, this team is working under Ollie. I'm convinced now he's not the man. And with Conte going to Spurs, another another elite manager against us now in the Premier League. It looks like we're going to have to just settle for what we've got right now and pray. That's all we've got. We've got the players. Will it click? Will it click for Ole? I don't think so. I've sort of given up hope on that from what I've seen already this season. And guys, I'm basing my opinion on what I've seen already and what I've seen last season. We're already in a worse situation than what we was last season when we finished it. Someone came to me today and said, yeah, but look at it. We're in a better position now than we was at this time last season. What a pathetic comeback. I mean, if that is your standard, you're supposed to be progressing. So we finished second last year. We've now got Liverpool back on top form. We've got Chelsea with a two cult for a whole season. Conte's now come in. City have still got Pep. You know what? We're behind Chelsea by eight points already. I'm not looking at where we finished last season, how we was this time last season. I'm looking at what I've seen already. I'm looking for progression from where we finished last season, not at the same time as last season. That's just a pointless argument. For me, we are completely underperforming and under Ole, I don't think it's going to get much better. Yeah, it may get better than what it is now and we may get into the top four. But is that good enough for you? I said at the start that wasn't good enough for me. And from what I've seen so far, I cannot see anything getting better than that this season. I don't see us getting any better than uh, fourth and challenging for the title, which was the minimum requirement, and the trophy. So everyone's standards and sights that they set at the start of the season seems to have been moved now all of a sudden. This has been moved across simply because we won a game against Spurs and everyone's being overly negative. It's not. It's reality. Reality hurts, doesn't it? The fact that there's four elite managers in the league and we ain't got one of them, it hurts, doesn't it, people? Just admit it and just own up to it and just say, look, Oli isn't as good as any one of them four. And you know what? Spurs were having a better season than us on all fronts and they sacked their manager for losing to us. So you got to look at the ambition. This is not Oli's fault anymore. It's not. It's the board's fault for keeping him in the job. That's where we're at with that now. So everything that happens right now, I can't really moan at Oli. I can't complain. It's not his fault now. He had his chance. I thought he's shown enough, really, for the board to think that's it. He isn't good enough. He's still here. And now it does look like, unless he has a catastrophe of a week now, but then again, there's no one left to pick from now. There's no manager available. So who's going to come in? It's going to be an interim manager. And that, I don't know. I just don't think that works. We've seen what happened with the last one. He's still here now. <laughs> so, yeah, guys. Tonight, Atalanta... I said it before and uh, don't take this team for granted. Everyone's on a little bit of a high high. I'm thinking everyone's overly confident all of a sudden. And yeah, I took a lot of positives from that Spurs game, but it was a poor Spurs team. Atalanta, you know what? Six goals in the last two league games they've scored. I mean, the fifth in the league like we are in our league. There are no pushovers, so this is going to be a tough game tonight. And I think I've gone for 1-1 in this. I think if we get a couple of draws in the next two away games, it was Ricky who was saying it on the show on United Stand the other day, that will be enough. We can't go into them games thinking like that because we'll end up getting dicked like we always do. But what we can do is go into it. We get any sort of draw out of the next two games, we will beat young boys. I think one, I think four points pretty much puts us through on ten points. I think that'll be fine. Uh, and that'll see us into the knockouts. It's spare minimum for Ole just to get through this. I think if he goes wrong tonight, and this is why tonight's massive, we're under pressure because then we have to go to Villarreal. If we don't beat them, 
then the last game might not even matter. We might be back in the Europa League. And then what's everyone going to say? So tonight's huge. We can win this tonight. The team are more than good enough. And I've, you know what? I'm swaying towards thinking we can win it, but I've still got that element of doubt and I've still got that respect for Atalanta that everyone doesn't seem to have for some strange reason. But we will see. I'll see you guys at half time. I'll see where we're at. And obviously, hopefully, we are pretty well. I'd say we're through if we win this game. I think that pretty much confirms it. So I'm praying for that. And I'm hoping that is what we get. Guys, see you at half time. Half time it is. And well, it could have been a lot worse. Uh, pulled out the bag by an absolutely brilliant bit of football from Greenwood. Uh, Ronaldo and Bruno there, absolutely superb goal, but David De Gea really dropped us in it. We lost complete control of the game, Atalanta were well on top, the ram went off, it was looking a bit more doom and gloom, but then, again, big players come to the fore, another assist from Bruno for Ronaldo, man, I can remember that, I think that's about four or five assists, I think Bruno's assisted half of Ronaldo's goals this season, now that's eight for the season for Ronaldo, he scored in every single game in this Champions League. Literally, we would be out if it wasn't for Ronaldo. That's what we're saying. The link-up play and the brilliance of Ronaldo has absolutely bailed us out and we're absolutely, I tell you what, we're lucky to have that man in our team at the moment. I know we brought him in and you know what? We brought him in, Ollie brought him in, say what you want, it's part of the team and that counts for every single player, but yeah. Right now, we're just lucky we've got a man who's got the character to see us through these sticky situations because we pretty much had a sticky situation every single Champions League game we've played so far and Ronaldo's bailed us out. We just need to show a bit of character. I mean, the draw would probably see us through, like I said at the start, but just got to cut out the mistakes. Pogba's horrendous. I, mean, I think he's elsewhere. He's done. He's absolutely done. I mean, if I was... If I was Oli now, I'd be probably bringing off Pogba for Matic. Uh, Donny, you could say, but now the pressure cooker situation that we're in, I think we need someone with a bit more experience in this situation. I'd be bringing Matic on for Pogba. I think Pogba is a liability at the moment. And I know he can pull something out the bag for us, but I do see him being more of a hindrance than actually benefiting us at the moment. Keep our heads, do nothing stupid. No silly yellow cards, free kicks or giving the ball away. And then that quality up front should be able to get us through this game. We will see though, we will see. Funny how all of a sudden Oli has to revert back to the 4-2-3-1 and we end up getting the equaliser. So <laughs> he's, he's been forced into another one and got the result. Well, half time anyway. Second half to come, we'll see if it carries on. See you at full time. Oh my God. Injury time, Ronaldo has just scored. Absolute bailout job. Cristiano Ronaldo, one man team. One man team. Cristiano Ronaldo is saving Oli's bacon. Well, he's not, let's be honest. I'll give up on criticising Oli. It's not his fault anymore. He shouldn't be there. The club have kept him there, so it's really their fault now. Cristiano Ronaldo just kept us in the Champions League. He's single handedly kept us in the Champions League. That's five goals in four games now. Five in four. And without him, without him, we're done. We are done. Absolutely finished. What are we saying here? What's this? Oh, hang on a minute. We're checking for an handball here. Oh, we got away with it. We have been bailed out. Oh my God, guys, it's been absolutely pathetic. It's been disgraceful. One shot on target the whole half, and that's Ronaldo again. Without Ronaldo, like I just said, we are finished. He's just single-handedly, I wouldn't say keeping Oli in a job now, because that's gone past that, like I said, then. It's not Oli's fault he's in this team. He's, uh, he's still in his job, it's the club. And we're literally clinging on to top spot in the group right now. And it is only just in our hands. It's pathetic that this team... Oh. Donny nearly scored as well. My God. 
all of a sudden, all of a sudden, phew, God, a jaw, a scraping a jaw, man. He's just literally Ollie clinging on with fingernails. It's ridiculous. Guys, I'm done with this. This is it for tonight. I've got all my United Dan stuff doing as well tonight. So tune in for that fan forum and my fan vlog. God, what a night this has been. And absolutely ridiculous, absolutely crazy what's gone down. He's, Ronaldo again, can you say? But that's it. Like, share and subscribe guys. I'll be back for the derby at weekend where if we play like this, we're going to get smashed off the park again. How many pre-warnings from Atalanta are we going to get? Because this team is in no position at all to challenge for anything. Scraping through this group, literally hanging on by our fingernails right now. Unbelievable. Guys, like, share, subscribe as always. Check it out, Derby coming and all my United Stand stuff tonight. Get tuned in. It's going to be an interesting fan forum, put it that way. Laters.